Hey guys, this is Jeanette with Anderson Alchemy here to give you your tarot reading for the month of August 2017. This reading is for those of you who have a Libra rising, Libra sun, or Libra moon sign. If you don't know what any of those signs are for you, I highly recommend getting a free natal chart done online at cafeastrology.com. Um, you will need to have your time of birth, however, in order to find out your rising sign. Just FYI. All right, so let's get started for you for uh, your reading for the month. Your overall energy is the wheel of fortune. I love this for you because right now Jupiter is in your sign. So this tells me that all of the hard work that you've been doing up to this point and all of the ways that Jupiter actually has been working in your life over this past year, um, that is the dominant energy that's happening. And I think Jupiter actually leaves uh, Libra right at the beginning of October. So at this point now in the last month or two of his transit through Libra is when you should actually start seeing the results of seeing the blessings of his presence in uh, in your sign and in your life. So that is, a, that is amazing. And the Wheel of Fortune, if you don't know, is one of the major arcana. And for me, the major arcana are representative of the pure uh, divine forces of, of source, of the universe. And they're not things that we necessarily have control over. They are things that come in to shape and mold us. And so this is, you know, energy coming in to um, bring a stroke of good luck almost but it's not even luck because this is something that is um wheel turning in your favor okay so that's your overall energy for the month so regardless of whatever is going on for you i know a lot of signs right now are going through a lot of transition if you see any of the other videos but um ultimately you're going to be good because jupiter's got your back all right, so in your first house, um, which is a house related to your um, self-identity, what you think of yourself, and also how um, you show up for others, like how people perceive you, you actually have the Five of Cups. Now, the Five of Cups is a, a tough energy because it speaks to um, having an experience of loss and that really affecting your, um, your sense of self and um, you know, who you think you are in the world. And, um, but a five is always a number that you have control over. So if you are experiencing some kind of loss, whether that's, um, you know, a loss of a friend, um, a loss of, uh, a job, uh, money loss, um, maybe there's some tough things happening in your relationships just know that you know give yourself the, the time and the space to feel what you need to feel but you also have the opportunity to convert that energy five energy is five and seven energy is um energy of transition so whatever this feeling of losses or not feeling like enough or what have you it is transitory so um you're either going to expand into something better or you're going to retract so but my guess is with the wheel of fortune here showing up as overall energy this is a, a expansion that is happening for you in terms of your your sense of self so um you know don't worry too much about that we'll see what else is happening in the the rest of the cards for you um but at least for right now that seems to be where you are for yourself now, in your fourth house, which is the house having to deal with your actual home, uh, your family life, your emotional um, well-being, your sense of security, you have the Four of Swords. Now, I really like the Four of Swords because it speaks to you taking the time to rest. Like, emotionally, you're in a place of rest. Things with family are at a, a, a place of rest. Like, there is no there's no craziness there's no back and forth like you really are just on an even keel and i like that you have the swords which uh, represents the air energy which is your energy here in this house um, because the four energy is really stable so that means that um, even if you are experiencing some kind of loss overall in your emotional body or in your home life and with family there is stability um 
And this card also represents Jupiter and Libra. So this is again, reinforcing that Jupiter energy for you. So know that you are supported and that's a, that's a great energy to have here at your base. Now in your seventh house, you have the card of nine of wands and your seventh house has to deal with um, all of your relationships, whether they are romantic, um, co-workers, friends, family, what have you. It's basically, you know, you relating to the outside world or the outside world relating to you. And so to have the nine of wands here means that you, you might be working too hard in your relationships or maybe feeling a little tired and weary. This four of swords also can speak to just feeling the need for rest. So, you know, if things have not been, um, mutually beneficial or if you've been giving too much or others have been taking too much um this is actually speaking to me that there does need to be um a clearer and stronger boundary put up to protect your your energy and your resources especially if you are feeling the sense of loss here in your first house um you know this energy will put you in a position where you can focus and Remagnetize the power that is you within. Now, if this is, uh, you know, romantic relationships, this can also speak to um, you guys coming to the uh, close to the end of a cycle of like, you know, struggling to kind of get your bearings. So that's actually good because um, eventually, especially with this Wheel of Fortune energy, there is going to be a nice turn and a payoff for the hard work and the foundation that has been laid up to this point. Now, in your 10th house, uh, which is a house of career, your purpose and also your reputation, you have the Princess of Wands, um, which is basically the Page of Wands energy. And this is... This is you choosing to take a step on um, some creative path, some um, entrepreneurial path, some something that expands you. And uh, but it's just kind of the the beginning. It's not the pure potential of an ace of uh, ace of wands. Like at this point, the the step has been taken, and you are starting the journey. So uh, maybe the last month or so, you've you've made a, a a choice to change directions, and that's kind of why this wheel of fortune is possibly showing up. And you know that energy is is blessing you for those changes. But um, especially with it being mirrored across with this four of, of swords, um, you are seeming to make this step from a really balanced place um, and really clear, which is always good for, for air signs of, of being able to make decisions from a clear space. Um, this also speaks to, though, whatever is going on in your career world or your, or your work world, um, it does feel like a blessing. It does feel like new things are happening. Um, new opportunities, new new networking. There's probably a lot of energy happening there, and especially in complement to this Nine of Wands. Um, part of the reason why you might be feeling the need to rest here is that you're starting to get overwhelmed with how much opportunity is coming to you. <laughs> you're trying to figure out how to manage it all. So, um, I mean, it's a good thing. So be grateful <laughs> for it but that's that's good it's a it's a nice energy it's um i'm glad to see that you have taken the step by answering the call to expand now in the center of your reading this is a the place that represents um your soul's desires gifts objectives for this month and two cards actually popped out for you the first card which i love for you is the six of pentacles or the six of, of earth and you also got the eight of uh, wands so more wands more fire energy now the six of of pentacles i love because it speaks to you finally having having gotten to a place where you know how to manage your resources and this can since it's pentacles it literally can refer to money um you possibly are at a place where you are controlling, you know, how much you spend versus how much you make. 
Um, you're being much more strategic and balanced and not being frivolous with your money. Sometimes Libra likes to spend money on nice things and not necessarily stay grounded in making sure that they are they have a stable foundation, right? So this the, the presence of this card means that um, if you're not already entering into the month with that energy, definitely by the end of the month, you will be at a place of balance. This also does speak to success because it is a beautiful creative energy and it is um, it's like the seed made manifest. So it's um, this is a great energy to have uh, in terms of building something, something new, because it is so balanced and it, it does in terms of creativity, it does relate to your ability to work with others. Um, so if you are, um, in business with other peers, or, um, if this is in a work context, this tells me that there is actually, um, room for growth in your, your finances. So, um, that may be a primary objective right now for your soul's walk, but then also with that eight of wands energy, that speaks to me that um, whatever this six of wands balance and abundance and resources is happening, is happening pretty quickly. So, you know, all of these changes are coming in fast. You may not really sit in this five of cups energy too long. You may not be able to rest too long or what have you, depending on how this is really going to show up in your life. Because um, I'm not necessarily, it, it looks like, because the fire energy is in relationships and career, it looks like it's probably going to be centered more there. And um, that may be why you might be feeling um, a little overwhelmed or the need to rest to be able to um, to kind of uh, have a stable found great foundation for that. But yeah, fast moving energy come in, which again, should make sense. You have all of this Jupiter energy here and Jupiter in your sign. So lots of blessings for you this month. I know there's a lot of changes happening. Um, if you haven't already watched the um, August astrology video, definitely check it out. And yeah, you have a great month. If you, um, you know, want to work with me, please check out my website, andersonalchemy.com to book a session. But I love you. I bless you. And I'll see you in September. Okay. Bye.